Hey everyone, Mike checking in. One of my favorite topics I want to talk about today, time management. Time management. One of the biggest feedbacks that I get uh, when it comes to sales is regimen. How to create a world-class regimen, something that's going to be effective, whether it's a daily regimen, a weekly regimen, uh, monthly, quarterly. I'm going to break it down into what I call chunks. Chunks is the smallest pieces. Uh, the smallest piece of time we have, obviously, is a second or a minute or an hour, but for simplicity, for planning's sake, um, we're gonna take a work week, okay? Sunday night through the following Sunday night. So we're gonna look at a week, and I call it the perfect work week. Now, if we can create the perfect work week and work backwards, knowing full well that most weeks are not gonna be perfect, but we can set it out at the beginning of the week with a certain mindset, it's so important as we go into our sales schedule. So let's start off with a couple things. Number one is belief system. Beliefs drive behaviors, right? Beliefs drive behaviors, behaviors get results. If you believe that Sunday night planning is absolute, it's like oxygen, you couldn't survive without it in sales, you would do it. But, but a lot of people don't. They get busy, they're watching football, they're traveling, maybe it's your day of peace or rest, that's completely fine, I get that. But just carving out 20 to 30 minutes every Sunday night, I'm a big fan. You're looking at the week in advance, and you're looking at your calendar. Now, I, I use Google. A lot of people use Outlook, whatever your calendar is. You pull it up on a, a weekly snapshot so you can see your whole week in one, one view. So from that Sunday night till the next Sunday night, you can see what you have scheduled. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I don't do daily visual shots or monthly shots, a weekly shot. So you look at your calendar and you look at what you have. Have appointments are things like scheduled things, scheduled Zooms, uh, meetings, appointments, things of that nature that are work related. They're already in your calendar, so to speak. So they're already designated in what we call time blocks. So let's say Monday, you know you have a standing call from 12 to one. It's already blocked, team session, 12 to one, it's already in the calendar. Tuesday, uh, you're in the field with man managers, mentors from eight to 12 noon, it's already blocked. And you may have certain color codes that you use. I'm a big fan of color codes. I'm not going to get into that today. But maybe color coding various things. I know Google, Outlook, uh, some of the other softwares have the ability to color code things based off of um, high priority or not. But you're looking at your week in advance and you're setting it out. Now, that's the belief you have to have moving forward is that every Sunday night, you're going to map out your week. You're going to put time blocks into your calendar. Not just professional, these are also personal things. We'll get to that in a minute. But you have to have a belief. One of my rules of thumb is if you, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So if you go to bed on Sunday night, your head hits the pillow, you're laying there and you're like, oh man, I didn't do my weekly planning. Okay, you should get up. I don't care how tired you are, even if you sketch out a basic semblance of what you wanna get done. You look at your calendar one week in snapshot, and you start to drop things in the calendar. Okay, that's better than not doing it whatsoever because here's what happens. You wake up on Monday morning and the world reacts. Again, depending on what time zone you're in. Um, you're gonna have people hitting you from different things. Emails, texts, people are coming back from the holidays. People are coming back from their weekend. Everything's busy, everything is coming at you. Now you're playing what's called defense. So when you're playing defense, in the game of sales and time management, you cannot score points on defense. You can only score points on offense. That's why it's offensive to lay out your game plan Sunday night. It's an offensive plan, just like in football. You know the plays before you step on the field. Okay, but if you don't do it, you're waking up on Monday morning and you're already playing defense and you're behind the eight ball. So that's number one is belief issue on Sunday night planning. Got to do it. So you're looking at your week in advance in your reality, as I call it, and you start to drop things into your calendar. Now, I'm extremely mindful that every person has their own flow circadian rhythm, some may call it. You know, you're a morning person, you're a night person. Um, that's completely fine. Some of you have certain things that are standing things during the day of the week. If you have kids, I know for me, I have two sons. Certain days of the week, there's practice days. Some days are game days, whatever you have. So no matter what your rhythm is or what you have during the week, you already know in advance because you're looking at this in a weekly snapshot. So whether it's games, practices, recurring events through the week, they're already put in the calendar and they pop up as recurring events. So that aside, now you're looking at your calendar in advance, Sunday night, and you're seeing what's blank. Now I use color codes. So the blank spots on my calendar are white. White means blank. There's nothing there. 
So if I have a Monday, uh, let's say 12 to 2 o'clock, there's white spots in my calendar. I'm looking to fill it Sunday night, even all the way up until later in the week, Friday. So I'm five days out. I'm seeing Friday from 12 to 4. I've got white in my calendar because I my, my morning is packed. So on Sunday night, I'm looking at my goals. I'm thinking about my prospects. I'm thinking about my deals. Who do I need to get in front of? What do I need to do this week to get one step closer to my goal? And that's the million dollar question that I have to continue to ask ourselves. What am I absolutely committed to doing this week to get one step closer to my goal? And the answer will be an action item. I need to pick up the phone. I need to send a proposal. I have an RFP that's due. So I'm going to put time chunks in those blocks where it's white. And I'm going to use those as what I call placeholders. They're in there. Now they may move, but I'm pretty religious about my time blocks. So if I put on there Friday afternoon, now remember, uh, this is Sunday night. I've mapped out in my mind that on Friday, that time block that's white is going to be filled right now with uh, two hours of creative contract and proposal time. And I put it right in the calendar. Now what that means is I'm not doing other things. I'm not checking email. I'm not checking social media, right? I'm not on camera. I'm doing proposals. I'm creating. I'm writing. So I'm putting that in the calendar in advance. Now, mentally on Sunday night, when I know it's on the calendar for Friday, I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's already in the calendar. I'm going to get to it on Friday. So very important is the mindset going in on Sunday night. Now, I've had people ask me, well, what if I do it on Friday and do it for the week in advance? That's fine. Maybe a Saturday. I like Sunday night because it's fresh in my mind, and that's a school night, okay? Monday is work day, <laughs> I know people go do things on Sunday, Sunday fun day, or whatever. But Sunday night, 6, 7, 8 o'clock rolls around. Your brain should be shifting in. Tomorrow is work. Tomorrow is sales. I got to go make money. Right? Get a good night's sleep. Get prepared. Map out your calendar in advance. Put your things into your calendar so it's already in there. It's already set. So that's number one. Second thing is I want to talk about what I call having discipline within the block. Discipline within the block is a phrase I've used for a long time because somebody will do the Sunday night planning. They'll put it in the calendar. Okay, they wake up tomorrow morning. It's Monday. They get all their normal routine stuff done Monday morning. It's 12 o'clock. They got a time block set right in the calendar. 12 to 1 prospecting. It's already in the calendar. You're pumped up. You've been thinking about it all morning, prospecting. So you got your call list, right? You've already pre-planned who you're going to reach out to. You got your 10 or 11 or 12 or, or whatever prospects that you're doing. Maybe you've got LinkedIn up on your computer because you want to see who you're talking to, what their background is, doing your research, and you're doing it. You're making calls. You're sending emails. You're doing the outbound, right? Because prospecting is outbound, not inbound. You're 10, 15, 20 minutes into that block. Guess what happens? Phone rings. Somebody calls you. It's one of your teammates. Moment of truth. Do I pick up the phone or not? Okay, now discipline says put the phone down. Discipline, real discipline says turn the phone like where you can't be accessed. It's quiet. It's silent. Maybe it's on airplane mode. Now I use my phone, both phones, my, my landline and my, my cell phone. So my, I can't just turn my cell phone off during my time blocks. I keep it on. But I have, a, I have a belief. I have a discipline that when I'm doing outbound calls in that time block, I'm having discipline within the block. I'm not taking that phone call. There's nothing that important that I can't call that person back in 30 or 45 minutes when the block is finished. Now, that's very important, what I just said. You have to have discipline within the block. Social media, emails, text messages, all the things that can be notified on your cell phone. I call this your universe. When the universe starts flying in, you get distracted. That easy. Can't do it. So when you see on your calendar, you have certain blocks that you've already set aside to do things proactively. I don't care if it's doing an expense report. Thursday, 12 to 1, do expense reports. Okay, that's all you're doing. Receipts, going online, punching it in. You're not multitasking. You're not doing an RFP over here. You're, you're not texting your buddies over here. You're focused in that time block on doing the expense reports. That's it. People say, oh, Mike, you don't understand. I'm a, I'm a time blocker. I'm a multifaceted, you know, multitasking person. That's fine. I know how the brain works. It can usually hold up to about three things in one focus. Right? It's usually this way, this way, and this way. If you think about the eyes and the peripheral, it's no different with the brain. You hold on to three things. That's why we teach things in threes, right? Beginning, middle, end. Everything you do in life has threes. That's the way it works. Okay, but when you have discipline when the block, it's only one. One thought, 
one focus. Okay, so I want to make sure I bring that up. That's so important when we get into uh, time blocking, prospecting, and really doing things that are proactive. You know, the the recurring question you should always be asking yourself, especially in sales and, and leadership, is is this revenue generating? Is this a revenue generating opportunity? If I'm in this time block right now, is this making me money somehow? Now, it might not be literally check and app in hand, right? But it's getting you somewhere closer to making money. And if the answer is it's not revenue generating, probably something you should be doing in the evening time, first thing in the morning, or you wait till the weekends. It sounds kind of harsh, um, but I have some friends, they've been honest and say, yeah, gosh, my, my spouse or my kids, they call me all the time throughout the day. Or, you know, I've got people in my life, like my buddies from college, we always are on these text threads throughout the week. That's great. I love my friends and my family, okay? But it's not revenue generating. If I'm you know, putzing around on a text thread at uh, three o'clock on a Thursday for minutes on end, texting my buddies, that's not revenue generating. I can do that at five o'clock, six o'clock, PM, after hours, okay? My wife, if my wife calls me, we have rules of engagement. If it's usually during the day, that means something's wrong. So I pick up the phone or we have a little text code. Otherwise, we don't call to just idle chit chat. Okay, she's got things she's got to do, things I got to do. Didn't always used to be that way. But as you get older, your kids get older, you got to create rules of engagement around your time. It's important. So having discipline within the block is so important. Now, the next thing I want to chat about today is um, where do I spend my time? Not, not just on revenue generation opportunities, but you have the sales cycle, right? You have cold calling. Uh, scheduling appointments, hosting virtual meetings, Zooms, Teams, etc. Being out in the field, uh, very important. Uh, I know that COVID changed quite a bit of that, but the best use of time obviously is being mano a mano, face to face. Sometimes you can't have that, so you take the next best thing, which is to be virtual uh, or set something up on Teams or, or Zoom or what or, or the like. But you have to be honest with yourself during the five day work week, Monday through Friday. When are you most productive? During the day, during the week. When are you um, best to be in the office? Sometimes uh, people use what are called buffer days. All day on Wednesday, you're going to be in the office and you're not going to be in the field because that's your day to do expense reports, do outbound calls, have the internet in front of you because you got LinkedIn and you do set all your appointments on Wednesday. So Wednesday is your buffer day. So you have to be honest with yourself about what works for you. I don't have a hard and fast rule on time management when I teach this, but you have to listen to yourself, your circadian rhythm and your family structure. Again, I've got kids, so there are certain days of the week that are just are, are non-negotiables when it comes to my time. But when it comes to playing field time, which is seven in the morning, Monday, right? Till about six o'clock at night on Friday, that's, that's game time. It's game time. Okay, what you do outside of that, completely up to you, but that's game time. That's when people are gonna be making calls, that's when people are gonna check your emails, that's when you revenue generate, and that's when your beliefs need to shift. Okay, so any things that are non-revenue generating should take place outside of those time frames. Very important. So the next question that comes up often is, what's the best use of my time? Well, number one is, is it revenue generating? That's the first question. But the second thing is, what's immediate? I always think about immediacy. If I have something that's timeline based, like if I have a PowerPoint uh, that I have to deliver in two days, that's got high priority versus something that's due in a month. So prioritizing things based off time, very important, but also prioritizing things based off of your relationship. If something is a very high relationship, I always kind of think of relationships as uh, ABCs, right? A is very high, B, mid-level relationship, C needs work or color code it, however you want. But there's three tiers usually of prospects or clients, right? If you're honest with yourself. Um, the ones that are really high, the platinums, the A's, the number ones, those get, those get first touch, right? So even if something is not due for maybe a month, uh, that person needs something, you react to it a little quicker. So it's also how you prioritize your belief system around the, your time. So it's not just what's immediate, but it's also based off the relationship. So that you put the two together, you're going to learn how to trust your gut. What's the best use of my time? Is this revenue generating? Who's this relationship with? Is there any immediacy? Three questions you want to ask as you prioritize. So I hope as a result of watching this that you will spend uh, the next week, Sunday night, at least Sunday night, 20 minutes, look at your calendar in advance, start dropping things into your calendar. Set your time blocks. Execute. Monday hits. Guess what? Now you have to test yourself. Are you having discipline within the block? Are you getting distracted? If you're getting distracted, what's distracting you? Maybe you need to turn your notifications off on your phone. I've had people blatantly uninstall softwares. 
TikTok, Instagram, social media. Most people keep LinkedIn on there because it's a good um, professional network to keep on your phone. But if you have other things that are distracting you on your phone, just uninstall them. Make sure you have to go online and be proactive to go find it. It's like three or four extra steps to get to that platform. You might say, ah, I don't need to check that. I have to go online and do it because it's not in the ease of your fingertips. So look at your time and be honest with where you're missing, what's distracting you, and really set out your regimen in advance. So Sunday night planning, weekly planning, drop in your time blocks, discipline within the block, prioritize your time, prioritize your relationships, and lastly, write stuff down. If you're not writing stuff down, if it's not making the calendar, it's not going to happen. Okay, if you're not creating lists around it, if you're not creating a written weekly plan with all your goals. So this includes personal things too, by the way. When I do my Sunday planning, my workouts are included in there. I put my workouts in advance. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday morning, Friday afternoon, Sunday. It varies by the week, depending on my schedule, but the workouts go in the calendar. Quality time with my kids, usually on the weekends, goes in the calendar. Okay, now I have some fluidity around my calendar as the week goes on, but I like to set out Sunday night, a good aspiration to get the perfect work week. That means I have balance in my life. I'm hitting all the areas of my life, family, friends, career, leisure, right? On Sunday night, it's all not just work, work, work. It's not just family, family, family. It's a balance. And that's what I'm saying. It's an aspiration to create a perfect work week. It doesn't happen every week, but you can aspire to do it. But if you don't set it out on Sunday night, no one's going to do it for you. So we're going to talk about that in our actions next time we pick up. But Sunday planning, writing stuff down, and really time blocking and having discipline with the block. Good luck.